Come and spend a day filming at the beach, Joe, they said. We'll drop you off on a boat, Joe, they said. Thanks a lot, guys. Well, luckily, we're here to learn about something that's sweeping the nation for anyone who has a four-legged friend. It's a brand new fitness trend, especially for canines. It's called parkour for dogs. Who let the dogs out? Who, 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 who let the dogs out? Who, 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 who what is dog parkour? Well, it's a sort of an adaption of, of, a, of a sport that people do, or something that's become more of a recognised sport, um, which, was, which was based from, I think, from French military training. Yep. So it's sort of, uh, it could be called free running as well. So, you know, running up buildings, trees, flipping over things, but, you know, with gymnast gymnastics mixing. See, this is Neo. <laughs> Neo. <laughs> this is Neo. <laughs> um, so how do you begin, obviously Neo's like a, a kind of an expert Thanks. level, I suppose. Good like, how, how do you begin? training a dog to start parkour? I mean, really, really basically. So, I mean, we might get into some basic agility, so some normal, you know, ju just basic jumps, um, a long jump. So just get them used to jump, just get them used to jump. Lots of ball, yeah. Or, 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 and um, sort of just getting up on small stuff, balancing, you know, just practicing the balance and then just increase it slowly. And at a more basic level, we met your other dog, Bear. Yeah. Um, and Bear was on a harness and kind of up on a bench. Yeah. And is that kind of the starting point for people at home? Yeah, definitely, yeah. So it's, it's, it's always got to be safe. So Neo, I wouldn't really recommend that people do it without the harness and, and the lead. What is it about the relationship between man and dog that, that you think is so special? Someone who's had dogs all their life. I just think there's a really unique bond there, you know. It's, they're one of the only animals that will follow point in and, and that will respond so well to, tri to training. I can absolutely testify that they, that, I mean, he's been loving it today. <laughs> absolutely, a bit, bit too much sometimes. That's it, he's been, he's been incredibly excited. I mean, what what would you, I suppose, say your your ambition is for dog cock, or where would you like to see it go? Um, I'd like to see it be recognised more in the UK. Um, it's, it's not very, you know, well known over here, but in America it's sort of a, a really recognised, just becoming really recognised. Um, so, and it's a big event over there. There's sort of the International Parkour Dog Association, which are the people who put sort of rules in place that I try, mm. I try and stick to, which is where the lead, you know, the lead comes in and the harness. Where they would advise you always have the lead and the harness. So there you go. It's brilliant to know that no animals were harmed in the making of this item. Isn't that right, Neo? <laughs> Come on, Neo. Good boy. What a diva. <laughs>